Hi, folks. Kevin Beasley from New Start Realty and Relocation here in Surprise. Hey, I um, it's April 2015, and um, those of you guys who are in the rental market right now um, know that it's definitely favoring the owners. Okay, so um, you just need to act, guys. I mean. Uh, a lot of people are losing out and I wanted to do this video so I could maybe give you some deal breakers and some tips on how to uh, uh, prepare yourself for this when the market is in this condition. We have a really low inventory and the demand is really high and um, so when you're when you're in a market like this and, and um, you need to you know act fast and that's the key to uh, getting the type of property that you want. Uh, basically, as you guys know, when you know you make an inquiry for me, I send you all your showing documents. So you're going to have an intake questionnaire, and you fill that out. I'll customize the search, and um, uh, so we're only looking at properties that you want, and I'll get a basic overview of your credit and your income to give to the listing agent so we'll know that we're dealing with somebody that we can work with and that's very very important here um, I guess one of the major deal breakers in this uh, market is um, a rental history if you if they do a credit pull or background check on you and you have a um, uh, a judgment for uh, either a broken lease or an eviction, you know, odds are uh, that it's going to affect you negatively. And I just went through this situation with a good guy who um, approached his, uh, he had some trouble in 2009 and he wanted to go back and live with his family. And so what he did was he approached the apartment guys and says, hey, uh, is it all right if I get out of this lease? And um, <clears throat> the guy said, oh, yeah, sure, you know, no, no problem. Just keep it clean, and, and uh, we have some people who want to look at it next week. They showed it. The people wanted it. And so uh, he got out of the lease, but and he thought it was all good. But what they did was they filed um, uh, an injunction order on him, and... Uh, and went on his record. He didn't even know it until he started to relocate down here, and I found it when he uh, uh, when I pulled his credit to get him pre-approved. And uh, so, if you you may be in an amicable situation, but it may not turn out that way. So, you know, knowing's half the battle in this stuff, guys. So, if you're unsure of what's on there, give me a call, email me written permission, we can do a credit pull and, and see what's on your uh, criminal and civil history and um, on your credit. We'll do a, it'll do an, a uh, transunion uh, search for you. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the major things that people are going to to kick you to the curb to. And uh, you know, and then it's criminal too. You know, a lot of this. Another client that I had um, had a red light ticket. You know, they had a warrant out for him, yeah, and uh, he didn't know it. And so when we pulled that, I gave it to him. He went and took care of it, but it was still on there. And so there might be some charges that were dismissed and still show up. So if that stuff comes up, make sure you have your court records in order so you can get it, um, so we can present it to the listing agent and uh, so it won't be a factor. Um, too many collections, you know, for a while there, remember in 2007, didn't matter what you were looking at. I mean, if you, people were wanting to get their places rented. If you had a job, you know, basically, and you're losing your house, we get you in a rental. But it's not like that. They're going to start looking more and more on collections. So if you got like uh, collections on cell phones, utilities, um, and you got a lot of stuff, uh, especially on revolving credit, um, 
and you're not working with them, can't show that proof that you're working with them, it's going to it's going to hold against, especially in this type of market. Um, so at least pay your utilities up, pay what you can up, and if you got if you're overwhelmed, guys, um, you know, talk to an attorney, see if a bankruptcy is in order. But um, uh, so, and have your supporting documents ready. Okay, in a, in a tight market like this, we gotta act. Stuff is staying on the market zero to one day before it's getting applications because people are taking a proactive stance. Know what you want. If you see it, let's go for it. But have your ducks in order. I'm already got your showing docs. So I got your intake document, your loop flyover map, your agency disclosure. All that's already here when you agree to do, uh, work with me. I'll create a file. But it's up to you to get me or to have on hand copies of your ID, color copies, clear copies of your ID, driver's license or whatever, and at least two pay stubs. Um, they may ask for more, but if you don't have those submitted with your application, odds are most property management companies are not going to begin to process your file until they get them. And that means another applicant can come ahead of you that has this stuff um, and um, and they're going to get it from you. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid. If you guys got some money or, or whatever stashed away, get a copy of that. You know, wipe out your uh, bank account numbers. It's not going to matter because they're not going to be able to hack it anyway. But wipe it out. Give it to me and say, like, and that's going to uh, it's going to make a difference. You know, well, if you got cash on hand, um, some assets, too, then it's, it will make your application stand out above the rest. Um I guess that another deal breaker that I find is pets. Um, uh, if you have something on a restricted breed list, uh, some property management don't care what the market's like. If you got a pit bull or something, you're not going to be able to get them through. And uh, especially in this market, they're going to take somebody with no pets over somebody, even if you got a little chihuahua dog. So you might want to rethink your your pet situation. I know I I couldn't leave. My place. I couldn't go to another place unless Joe Dog, Delilah, and Frank the Cat came with me. So I know how dear these pets are. But sometimes it's good to maybe, if you got a brother or something or something that wants to temporarily adopt them while you get into the house, that's fine. But do not, you know, if you if you do have a pet, don't sneak him in. It'll ruin you. It really will. So those are some tips, guys. I hope I hope that helps. Um, uh, give me a call if I can be of help, but if you're not, and I don't care really, you know, I'll deal first come, first serve with people, and I, I'll work with all types of credit, even in this uh, uh, situation that we're into in April of 2015, where the owner favors the market. Um, but um, but just have everything ready. And if you take a proactive stance, I'll work with you, and we'll try to get you the home that you need. So feel free to give me a call anytime, 602-920-2201. Call with any questions that you have about moving and uh, the real estate business. Have a great day, folks.